OK, hi, I'm Barbara Rademacher, your teacher, and I would like to welcome you to NWACC and to my class. I just received an interesting email from a student and she asked me. Where can I learn so that I can answer the homework questions? And I thought that was such a good idea that I would tell you. OK, so here we go. We're going to take a tour. I'm going to share my screen. Ooh, that's pretty. And I'm going to bring up Canvas. Now this is what you see when you first come into Canvas and then you click on your class. Well, I have a bunch of classes. So. I'm just going to pick. This one, it's kind of in the middle. Hmm. Now. Where do you learn? Let's start. Let's talk about how I like to learn. Click on first day. If I go over here to the left, I can go to read now. And if I go over here to the right, I can click on launch courseware. Well, that's where I would go to go to MML, to my math lab. But over here where it says read now, I'm going to click there. This is the table of contents to our book, and for some reason it opens up at 2.7. I have no earthly idea why, but we might as well go ahead and start there. I would start with the book, although I suppose it's better if we go here. Let's go to chapter one. So I click the down arrow for chapter one, and here are the sections for chapter one in your textbook. Now it's always a good idea to start at the beginning, so let's click on 1.1. And here are the topics in 1.1. I'm going to start on equations and solutions and click. I can now read what the book says. About solving equations. Now, of course, you already know how to solve an equation. But. There's a certain value to reading the book and you can do this for any section. OK. So here, let's say you want to read the book, so you read through the book. And eventually we'll get down to. A discussion of technology, which is also in your book, talks about working with your graphing calculator. The TI-84. And then it takes you to the homework in the book. Well, we've got the homework in my math lab. They're the same problems. Okay. Now, if we were to go to using the principles together, you could read this. And then you could decide to work on the 1.1 exercise set. Which, you know, I mean, it's there in the book, but we want to work in my math lab. I want you to work in my math lab. You get graded for working in my math lab. 
OK, that's one way to study. Going to the book and reading first and then going over to 1.1 and doing the homework. But there are other ways, so let's go back. To where we were. I'm still on first day. This is what you see. I'm going to click on launch course. Now I prefer, and I think you would prefer, if you click on this gold banner right here, or orange banner. We're loading. We're loading. Maybe it'll come up. Maybe it won't. All right, well, I only have so much patience. Where there's a will, there's a way. I am trying to get to my lab math course. You've got this too in student links, my lab and mastering course home. Let's go to your link. Site can't be reached. Oh, lolly. All right, well, what to do? Now, why can't the site be reached? We don't need to go there. Oh, oh, I see something happening. Yes, yes. When you click on the orange or gold banner, this is where you should go. And why I value Course Home is that look over here, this tells you everything that's available to you in the course. Your assignments are right there. You can go to homework, but the book is also available to you here. If you click on it, there you see all the chapters. You can go to, let's say you want to go to chapter two. And let's say you want to go to 2.3. Look at that. You can watch a video presentation. You can watch e-text, you can read the e-text, or you can work on your study plan. You don't get credits for that, so you can do it if you want to. I can't turn it off. OK. So you could also read the e-text and you could also uh, watch a video presentation. But you know what I want to do? I want to go to assignments and show you that there are other ways to learn. You don't have to just read the book. But some people don't like doing that. So where shall we go? How about January 21st to the 27th? That's uh, assignment number three, review solving equations and inequalities. OK, I'm going to pick a problem, a random problem. Number two. There it is. There's your question. I'm going to move it to full screen. Now, here's your question. I'm sure you can work it with no problem at all. You get the answer. You type the answer in there, making sure that you type the kind of answer they're telling you to type. For instance, this says type an integer or a simplified fraction. Well, but how are you going to learn before you do the problem? Here's how. You can view an example. And this takes you step by step. Through the problem. You can read the textbook.
There you go. And there is a very good version of the textbook. You can go to ask my instructor if you're totally stumped. And what this does is it takes a link to this very problem to my email address and I can see it in my email and you can type a note right there and then you can hit send. OK, now what I have not put up yet is something I'm going to show you right now. I need to go to course tools and go to where I go to put questions into the assignments. It was important to me to get your homework ready for you now, but I'm also planning to create optional information sites about each section. So for instance, how do I know what section of the book I'm in? Well, let's go back here to reviewing exponents or Let's go here to review functions one. No, that's not how you do it though. Where I have to go is here. Don't tell anybody. And somebody's already been there. Okay. I can't get into it at when somebody's already been there. So I'm gonna go way down here. Equations of linear functions. Somebody's been there too. My goodness, you are busy people. Okay, well, I am not done yet. Here's what I'm going to do. You see, I want to find some problems that will tell you what section of the book you're in. There now. See, I can see it, but let's go to where you would see it. So I'm going to go back to assignments. Your assignments. Main menu, assignments. And now I'm going to go way down here. Zeros of functions. OK, now let's click on problem three. Could be any problem. Here's how you can tell what part of the book we're in. We are in chapter 8.4. That is chapter 8, section 4. That's where this problem comes from. Okay, now why is that important? It's important because you can go here to Multimedia Library. Click on Multimedia Library. We were just at a problem that comes from Chapter 8, Section 4. So I am going to choose Chapter 8, Section 4. And then I can call up all of these. And I'm going to select all. <clears throat> College Algebra Essential Topics videos. Oh, well, fine now. Fine now. There we are. Here they all are. These are videos about the problems in your homework. Here's the book. 8.4, Chapter 8, Section 4, that you can read if you want to. 
Here's a PowerPoint for Chapter 8, Section 4. And here's an animation about finding all zeros of a polynomial function. You don't know what zeros are yet, probably, but you will. They're very, very important to mathematics. So since I prefer to read the book first, that's going to be in those helper videos I want to make. Now let me go back. Let me go back. And yeah, I am going to go to Assignment Manager, which is the teacher site, because I want to make, how about for this very few first homework lesson, which is just a review of stuff you already know. Manage. No, create. Create homework. Homework name, optional help, optional extra help. Reviewing exponents. And then we're going to go to section R, chapter R, which is review. We're going to go to R7. And I'm going to click on Media. And I'm going to click on the book and move it over. I'm going to click on the PowerPoint and move it over. I'm going to click on these animations, write numbers in standard form. OK, this is all about positive and negative exponents. You may have forgotten about those. Here are. OK, here's a video about integers as exponents. There are section videos. There are example videos. So I'll put a section video up. And then I'll put a topic video that goes over the rules of exponents. We're not going to do this topic, scientific notation, so I leave it off. And now I'm going to put in those little animations because they're so quick. Write numbers. Write numbers. I don't want scientific notation, you see. OK, so just these three. And I'm going to save them. Let other teachers copy it. Save and assign. And then I'm going to drag this up. So that it's right above review exponents. You can refer to the book, you can refer to the PowerPoint, you can refer to the videos, you can refer to the animations, um, all having to do with this topic right there. So that if you go here first, you can learn how to do the homework problems. Or you can, since somebody's already done those, I'll come way down here. Back to zeros of functions. Delete instructor results, yes. You don't want me messing it up. Okay. This is so hard to remember which way to do it. Getting me mixed up with you. All right, let's try this again. Uh, math assignment manager. Go way down here. Now I'm going to go to preview. There. That'll work. 
And I want to remind you that you can learn and study and do the homework problem in one step because you have view an example, read the textbook, ask my instructor. All right. That, oh, and this up here tells you what section you're dealing with. So that if you want to go to multimedia library and look at all those. Um, um, those media. Things that are available to you, you can do it. OK, that's how you can learn. You can also go to YouTube where they have tons of teacher videos, math teacher videos, teaching students how to do just about everything. OK. Now I'm going to unshare my screen. And here I am back. And let me know if you have any questions. You can email me from the from a math problem with Ask My Instructor. You can email me from Canvas and I'll automatically know what class you're in. So just remember, don't give up, keep on working. And I want everyone to make an A and I believe you can. Talk to you later, bye bye.